Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install a basic PPTP VPN server through your webmin or virtual min uh, server GUI here. Uh, you don't have to do anything in the command line console. You can do it all here. Webmin does have uh, the capability to control PP, basic PPTP VPN server. So I chose to do that because I didn't feel like messing with OpenVPN. But if you want a more secure solution, definitely install OpenVPN. I just wanted something I could come in configure here through the, the GUI. So um, in your webmin console, you're going to see this unused modules. And in that, you're probably going to see PPTP VPN server. That means it has to be installed. So all you have to do is go to system software packages. And you're going to go package from yum, and you're just going to type in pptp. It's that easy. Uh, click install. It'll go through the install. It might prompt you. Um, I actually I installed pptpd, and that caused some problems for me. I'm not sure what the difference is there. I do have it working with the D version, but uh, I would just go ahead and use pptp. Um, it puts the the files in the right places and use the uses the default file names. So go pptp. Um, if for some reason that doesn't work, you can type in pptpd, and I'm going to show you where all these files are at the end of the video anyways, so pptp will work. And if for some reason you don't have ppp installed, you are going to also want to type in ppp. That should be installed by default as well. Once you have that installed, you're going to click refresh modules, and then uh, your pptp server option should disappear out of this unused modules list and it'll come into networking uh, right here pptp vpn server and you're almost done it's pretty easy uh, come in here to pptp server options and in here you're probably going to have custom file selected i'll show you where that file is in a minute um, but uh, you can just do it right here through the menu which is what i did so pptp specific settings and all this does is edit that same file. So this can be any base IP address range or IP address. Uh, just don't use like you know 127.0.0.1. Anything else should work. 10.0.0.1 uh, is perfectly good. Then down here is going to be the range that it's going to apply to your client side connections. So 10.0.0.100 through 200. I'm going to go ahead and reduce, reduce that to 101, so only two can connect. Um, you could just as easily do only one, or you could do a comma and two specific addresses. So I'm going to do a range here. And save. And then you're going to come in here to PPP account. Click create new PPP account. You're going to type a name and a password. And save. Now, here's the real trick. No one else is really talking about this, and I had to figure this out uh, by finding the file that this actually edits. You're going to come into network configuration. You're going to go to routing and gateways, and you're going to click yes for act as a router. That's very important. It won't it won't work otherwise. And click save. And then click apply configuration that will reset your network interface and then you're going to come back here to PP, PP VPN server and hit the big green button right here. This will be a green button that says start PPTP VPN service. Um, I already have it installed so um, you can you can click apply configuration to reset it at any time. But uh, I'm actually already actively connected to it right here. So it's, it's up and working. Uh, one more thing you can do if you want uh, to hide your, your, uh, your IP address behind natural address translation um, is you want to uh, turn on masquerading. I did this through the command line because I couldn't figure out how to do it in the console or the webmin interface. Um, I started to figure it out, but I, you know, it's just as easy as copying and pasting this into, into your command line and doing it like that. Um, you are going to want to make sure that your interface is actually zero. 
And then you can check that by coming into network configuration, routing and gateways. You see ETH0 right there. Um, there is a way to do it here in uh, Linux Firewall. I couldn't figure it out very easily, so I just uh, I chose to do it with the command line. I mean, I think you have to come in here and go to network address translation. There's some way to do it in here, like add rule. Oh no, we want post routing, post routing, add rule. I think we click masquerade, but I'm not sure about the, the A and the O options, like all this stuff. I saw all that and I'm like, screw that, I'll just do it with the command line. Um, you can also uh, make that happen every time you start by putting it in your rc.local file, uh, which is probably a good idea. So that's the command IP tables dash T dash NAT dash capital A post routing dash O uh, ETH zero or whatever your interface is dash J masquerade. I'm not sure exactly what all that does, but it apparently works. So let's let's go over the files. Uh, you should be able to connect at that point. You're you're all good to go. But I'm gonna go deeper into the actual files so that those settings modify, just in case you install the PP TPD version like I did. So first file you're gonna want to check uh, system control in uh, it's gonna be in your etc folder. It's one of the last files. Syscontrol.config. Edit that. This is where our IP routing is set. Net.ipv4 IP forward equals one. This will be set to zero by default, and that's gonna correlate to your routing setting. If you change this, it'll change that file. Okay, next important file is can go way back. Hmm. Way back. Uh, PP TPD dot config. We're going to edit that. If you install PPTP, it might be called PPTP dot config. And in here, you're going to have your base IP addresses. So you got local IP 10.0.0.1 and remote IP 10.0.0.100 through 101. Um, this is where your advanced uh, settings will get set also. I have mine set to require MPP uh, encryption. You do not need to set that. I'll show you that here in a minute. And the other file you need to look for is uh, PPP in your PPP folder. You got your chap secrets, which is your usernames and passwords. It's going to be like this. You can have a username, space, PPTPD or PPTP, uh, password, and then star for IP address. And then options.pptp. This is the one that Webmin is looking at, but mine were actually set in this file here. So what I had to do is um, set them the way I wanted to in this file, and then I just copied it over to that other one. But uh, what I have set up in here is Microsoft DNS. I've got it set to 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8 .8 and 8.8.4.4. Those are the Google DNS servers. And that's, that's pretty much the only thing in that file. But make sure that your options, if you're having trouble, come in here, find this file. Make sure your op options.pptp has something in it. Mine was blank. Mine was blank, so I had to copy and paste. You can uh, maybe, let's go back to pptp VPN connection. So here under PPP options, it's showing that it's pointing to that options.pptp file. Um, and that's the only way I figured it out. I was like, what the hell is going on? It's not working. And I realized that it didn't have a D at the end of it. 
So I just copied and pasted and it magically started working. Uh, but here I have must use 128-bit MPPE encryption. I have that set to must be used. Um, I think by default it allows it and I think most uh, devices will default to to that anyways but I went ahead and checked that anyways um, so that's pretty much it uh, if you if anyone out there uh, wants to give me a quick rundown on proper setup of that masquerading here in the in the firewall options I would love that and I will make another video of that later on uh, make sure you like comment and subscribe